future episodes of Deep Space Nine or Voyager. Funny you should mention it. Aha. I just got signed to appear in Deep Space Nine as my doppelganger, oh, yeah. Lieutenant Thomas Riker. That's right. I did an episode called, I think, Second Chances, where Commander Riker discovered his twin who was somehow split in a transporter accident. Mm -hmm. That character is going to appear on Deep Space Nine, I'm told, starting in uh, an episode in October. That's exciting. All uh, right, great. Good. He must, maybe he wrote the episode. Good, good. For, yeah. It's a plug. It's, there it is. Well, it, it is on uh, Writer's Guild stationery, so I don't know. Okay. And uh, let's see. Greetings from the Pacific Northwest. I yes. uh, look forward to seeing you at the Creation Convention in Vancouver, British Columbia. I will be there. Of the episodes you directed, mm -hmm. which episode is your favorite? This is Rick from Olympia, Washington. Which episode? I have a, I have the one I mentioned earlier, I have such a soft spot for The Offspring. Yeah. I think the most interesting and different episode was one I did last year called Sub Rosa, which was a little more like a, a Tales from the, oh, the yeah. Crypt. Oh, yeah. Very, very hard. Gates was fabulous, and it was the, uh, the mm -hmm. Moorish plains yeah. and the cemetery. It was a, a non-Trekkie type episode, so mm -hmm. that, was, that was a lot of fun. All right. They're all, it's a great gig. Well, I, I really, really. Well, and, and you've brought a lot to the part. Right? There's so much that, that our viewers want to ask you on the facts. There's so many things that, as a, as a real fan, that I want to know. And we add the third element to the interactivity and go to the live telephones. Let's do it. Say hi. Welcome to QVC. You're on the air with Jonathan Frakes. Hi, Steve Bryant. This is Hillary from Tustin, California. Hi, Hillary. Say hello to Jonathan. Hi, hi Hillary. Jonathan. Hi. I'm a big Star Trek fan. Big, big. You're watching the right show. Oh, I know. I stayed up last night for 10 to 12 with Patty. Oh, I saw Patty oh, at the right. airport, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I did. Great. Congratulations, yeah, Daddy. Thank you. Indeed. Did you congratulate Patty, who's about to get married? Did she mention that on the air? Oh, no, oh. I don't think I heard that. I don't think she mentioned it. That's great. <laughs> Sorry. It's a real, <laughs> real family kind of show. That's great. <laughs> And if her parents didn't know yet, surprise! <laughs> oh boy, Frakes. It's, it's, it's okay. It wouldn't be the first time I put my foot in it. <laughs> so it's okay. Well, I do it Hillary, on a regular basis. Hillary, so. save me. Bail me out here. What, what do you want to know? Yeah. TV. Hillary, yeah, what, what, yeah, what did you dial in for tonight? I want Oh, what did I buy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me see. Oh, I you want. went for the Starfleet Academy t shirt. Oh, no, I didn't do that. But How I about got those big St. Vincent stands? <laughs> 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 no, I got two of the new posters for the new movie. All right. And I'd like I to got get one of those. Yeah, and I got the next next generation uh, movie soundboard pen. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. and that poster is cool. That is really cool. I saw that. See what I, oh, the Star Trek ornament. C one two five eight five. You've been busy, Hillary. Oh, honey, you don't know it. You're wearing I out that plastic. <laughs> I live for these shows. Every time they got one, I stay up, and I have to go to work at 6 in the morning. Oh, boy. It's, and my boss thinks I've lost my mind. I said, hey, listen, I love it. I've been trucking since William Shatner days. All right. All right, and, now, what would you like to know from Jonathan? Um, are you going to be at the uh, convention in, uh, I think it's in L.A. on December 3rd with Marina? In December 3rd in L.A.? Mm-hmm. Or do you, where are you going to be? I don't out? remember. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> don't remember. I barely anything. remember I was coming to Philadelphia <laughs> <Right>? today. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> are you going to say yes, and I'm not going to be there, and I'm going to make people mad? It I'll, may tell you, I'll tell you what I know I have coming up is Vancouver, right. Toronto, mm -hmm. Sacramento this Sunday. Oh, uh, that's far, yeah, a little yeah. bit. Oh, yeah. excuse me, Hillary. No, no. <laughs> no, I'm for me. I got a baby. I can't just jump on the plane, Annie. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll give you, if we can find out anything, if we can find that information out, we'll call yes. Marina. We'll see if I'm booked with her. Yeah. I noticed she pulled out of Sacramento so she could go to the Emmy Awards. Oh, okay. Oh, How about right. that? That's on the air now, too, Marina. <laughs> Stay, stay tuned. I have a feeling this is going to be one of the biggest exposés. Ooh, I'm mm -hmm. just getting warmed up. This is great. This is I, great. It's just really great. What uh, about Deep Space Nine? Oh, well, he already told you he's going to be on the Deep Space Nine. My daughter's next to me. What's her name, Hillary? Heidi. Heidi. Heidi Ho, hi. Hold on a minute. <laughs> hi. Hi. Hi, Heidi. <laughs> I'm just so excited. <laughs> Imagine how we feel. Yeah, really. We're just, we're just, we're just, I'm sitting here with a handful of faxes. And we're talking to you and your mom. The show's already way late. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can't believe we got through. We tried last night, and this is so cool. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, enjoy all your stuff, especially that poster. It's great. I want to know, considering the size of the Enterprise, how they got it under the St. Louis Arch like that. I Good mean, that's point. a heck of a piece of flying. It's 24th uh -huh. century technology. Absolutely. Computer, computer. Clearly, uh, Jordy wasn't flying. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Here's my mom. All right. Hey, Steve, before I go, I have to tell you, I came home one day. Yep. I've been uh, watching... Um misspell my name. I always like that. <laughs> well, just a little. Uh -huh. Anyway, we're back with Jonathan Frakes. Welcome to what promises to be one of the most entertaining Star Trek shows we've done. Well, we'll be the judge of that. <laughs> we've certainly got enough faxes to play with. We, we do indeed. Uh, people congratulating you. People wanting to know. This one's kind of neat. This one from uh, uh, Darlene and Ira Brickman in Long Island, New York. Hey, they hey. What about Kathy? And Kathy, uh, okay, I couldn't pronounce it, sorry. Kajowski. Okay, Kathy Kajowski. She, she would have felt gypped. I'm sorry, Kathy. She's on the facts. Yeah, really. Come on, Kathy, break down and get your own fax machine. Come on, <laughs> stop using Darlene and I. We have, we can work the fax for 300 bucks. Kathy, come on. Okay, and the question is, uh, we love your, well, we love your work and hope to see you in new projects soon. Uh, let's see. What is your most vivid memory of working in the series? And uh, what would be the funniest? And will you be writing a book about your seven years? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think I'll wait a while to write the book. Okay. How does Shatner's book do? Uh, mm. <laughs> My most vivid memory is that every morning, in spite of the fact you'd get up at, in the dark and drive mm. to work in the dark, you knew by the time you got on the bridge, you would be laughing. All right. It, it was, a ver as you probably know from having met some of us, a really silly group. <laughs> Which is one of the reasons the show works so well. Absolutely true. So you knew no matter what kind of mood you went to work in, that by the time 